Hi everyone, I'm Dave from Wild Reads. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to a rather special video tonight because tonight sees the long list announced for the Women's Prize for Fiction 2018. Now the long list is due to be revealed at midnight. The time is now, as I'm filming this, about a quarter past 11. So we've got about 45 minutes to go. I'm not gonna be filming for the next 45 minutes. Don't worry, I will be cutting this um, but I just wanted to say a few words about, because I haven't made a prediction video for this this year. Well, I didn't actually make one last year because I wasn't on Booktube. But that's what's so exciting about being on a Booktube. It's at times like this when long lists are revealed and I love book prizes. I love the Booker Prize and I love the Women's Prize for Fiction. In previous years, I found the books on the Women's Prize list so much more accessible than a lot of the Booker books. And I've read some absolutely fantastic books from the, the Women's Prize in recent years. So obviously last year, the Women's Prize was won by Naomi Alderman with The Power. Here it is here, fantastic book. Uh, this is the special edition. So what's gonna appear on this year's long list? Well, no one knows until 12 o'clock, but I do have some sort of predictions that I hope to see on the long list, and they are The Silver Woman's Gift by Sally Magnuson, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower, Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, The Wonderful, Wonderful Sarah Women with Tim Mann. Really hoping this is, I think this has got an outside chance of getting on the list, but it so deserves to win something because. It's fantastic. Jasmine Ward with Sing Unburied Sing. Fiona Mosley, Elmet, and the wonderful Ali Smith with Winter. So these are the books before they topple over and make a right mess. See? So these are the books that I'm hoping will be long listed for this year's Women's Prize for Fiction. So we've got now, we've still got about 45 minutes to go. So I'm gonna go off and make a cup of tea and come back for the announcement. Okay, so it's midnight. It's just gone midnight by a few seconds and I haven't seen, oh, hang on, one new tweet, here we go. I think Twitter's crashed with the anticipation they have a new tweet. Okay, the long list is here. Okay, so we've got, well, fantastic selection. So let's go through them. We have got HAPPY uh, by Nicola Barker. We have The Idiot by Elif Boltman. Three Things About Elsie by Joanna Cannon. Miss Burma by Charmaine Craig. Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower. Sight by Jessie Greengrass. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. When I Hit You, A Portrait of the Writer as a Young Wife by Mina Kandasamy. Elmet by Fiona Mosley. The Ministry of Utmost Happiness by Aaron Datty Roy. See What I Have Done by Shara Schmidt. A Boy in Winter by Rachel Seifert. Home Fire by Camille Chamise. The Trick to Time by Kit DeWall and Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward. I already have a few of those books on the list and I've already read a couple of them as well. Uh, fantastic list. I'm gonna be reading the complete long list uh, and hopefully posting some, some more women's fiction related content. It looks an absolutely brilliant list. That's all I've got for you tonight. It's very late. It's time to go to bed now. I'll see you next time for another video on Booktube. Whatever you're doing this week, enjoy your books, and I'll see you very soon for another Booktube video. Until then, take care, bye-bye.